a balanced attack against a very good Aggie defense. Pat Adams, our crew chief, puts it in play. Will Howard and Brian Dorsey also in the stripes tonight. To your point, though, it's all about defending four in white and 23 in white. Radford for three, and it was four to 23. Aggies are 326 in the country in tempo. But they do this better than anybody. Washington on the offensive rebound had it blocked. Game for Taylor, fourth best score in the league. He had 25 in their matchup last year in an Aggies win against Tennessee. Wow. Washington with a ceiling fan move. That's a good attack, though, of that ball screen defense of Tennessee. Hot start for Texas A&M's half-court defense. Ziegler nearly stole the inbounds. He did, and he finishes it off. Garcia leads the league in rebounding. He does it off the Aggie bench, and he does it by crashing the offensive glass. Off the baseline, out of bounds, Taylor. Josiah Jordan James had a monster game at Rupp. Yeah, that pin down action, that off ball screening by Tennessee, the, the best in this conference and the toughest play to guard against the Volunteers. Ziegler weaves through traffic, dumps it inside to the big fella. Adu follows his own miss with a tip. He has a great set of paws, does Adu. And deep post up position for Adu. Taylor from deep. That is a problem because if you got to come out and get after his three ball play, multiple score, but when this three ball starts flying and Dalton Connect doesn't switch out high enough, Tom, it's about 23 in white and four in white offensively for the Aggies. They are downhill driving dudes. And that's what Taylor does. Parmy Radford, and he's able to get it off the glass and in. Coleman cut off. Here's Solomon Washington. Shot clock is at six. AM is 320th in the country in Temple. They don't mind running clock, wow. especially when Wade Taylor can do that. And again, that is a problem. Hey, man, now does he become a lethal driver? Dump inside for Tobey Alwaka, and he scores and will go to the line. Tom, Texas A&M only making six three-point shots a game. Aggies, though, keeping pace from an efficiency standpoint here early on. Radford, the line, wow. the finish by Coleman. That downhill action, man, the entire offense now opens up. Just a massive amount of effort early from Texas A&M, and that downhill action puts you in a heck of a bind. The offensive glass comes into play. The dunker spot comes into play. And misses for the first time. Here's Ziegler now. To connect for three. And he's ah, fouled! He told me before the game his favorite board game was indeed connect for... Obasiki gets cut off. That is the first four-point play for Tennessee in over a year. Obasiki got it! Who is his Aggie team? They call him the Dominican Rodman. Shot yeah. clock at three now. Radford spins on Ziegler and got it to roll home. Just, just, you know what? Too big and too physical right now. And that's that's a mouthful because Zakai Ziegler, as good as there is guarding the ball. Well-balanced performance by Tennessee. Ganey gambles. Here's Taylor for three. Got it! And they are now at their average in SEC play with the six made three in the first half. Right there, pointing and at Ganey, right, and mouthing him, and the officials right on top of it. AM protects the rim better than anybody in this league without size. Taylor with the shake. Come and on, he's now. Bacon. Come on now. More than anything else, I know the shots are going down, but man, their energy, their fight, their their passion right now in this game has outweighed and knocked to Tennessee, thinking we can short close out the Aggies. Scrap that. Connect wouldn't mind a shootout. James, ball fake, off balance jumper. Having to make guarded shots, though, are they not? Tennessee yep. having to take tough guarded two. That was you, the, you see a lot of those? Well, that was the issue at the Fuego drive through after shoot around today. It's okay, I'm over it. Radford downhill, off the window this game going exactly like he wants. He wants a physical body blow, a lot of contact, driving the ball downhill. Ziegler lets it fly from deep. Long rebound to Taylor. He's got Radford. Dumps it off to his body and a finish. That is the one time you can expose. As measured by blocks, less than five blocks per game. 
Obasiki in the paint. And he's able to bank it in. What is Buzz Williams doing? He's turning this thing into a one on one game. Vescovi will gather and run. No numbers, steps throw, and it got pinned into a wedgie. They'll say it's a jump ball and go back to AM. Like I said, all the toughness plays have gone in the in favor of the Aggies, just relentless. And that's what they do. Garcia with a tip out. Taylor. And as a result is a three from the corner. Yeah. That sums up the Aggies as Wade Taylor starts to get into his shot attempt. They don't wait for the ball to be released. Taylor banks it in. It's a game and he's taking 20 shots a game. And that is a mismatch. Connect even with his size gets on the side of Wade Taylor. The toughness and the force that these Aggie guards are driving the ball. Legend. I, I'm thinking, how old do I have to live before I can shoot my age? <laughs> he probably did it wearing suede spikes, too. <laughs> Wade Taylor can turn the corner in this league as well as any guard that we have in the SEC. Boots Radford for three. How about the shooting of the Aggies tonight? Boots Radford comes in. I see you took the elevator. <laughs> Every day, Ziegler to Ganey. Nice finish. Here's Radford. Now the pipe. Yeah, just how many times are reloading? They'll back that ball up and reload. And then a little bit of motion to get that lane open, like the lane's on fire. Open it up, get out of there, let your guards come downhill. Dump inside, and Tobey will walk it with the bucket. Tennessee has had a couple of games this season where they had large halftime deficits and battled back to make it interesting. One that you were at in Chapel yeah. Hill. And now Radford going back to the line for a chance at a three-point play. This big physical guard, isolated, nobody in the corner, no help defense can come down and scrape down. And a cool haircut. Uh, yes, but also a tied stain stick because uh, before the game, <laughs> one of the guys got some dirt on that white uni. Carl oh, wow. jam! He'll hang around for the finish. Couldn't make it a three-point play, but Levesque will now turn it over to Ziegler. Reverses and got fouled. He teaches to guard the ball. Ziegler finds the ball on the open floor. Takes it right at Taylor oh, and wow. kisses it high off the window. That's the kind of stuff you learn when you're from New York and New Jersey. Ziegler, I mean, he's surrounded by size and athletes and the the in and out move and to get the ball so high. Eight seconds to go in a game in a one point no. game. No, not at all. Here's Ziegler for three. Tennessee still fighting. And you get he and Wade Taylor cooking at the same time. Watch out. Wow. That was swiped by Washington. Ganey for three. Garcia the rebound. Absolutely no doubt. I mean, his recovery, length, and speed. And this time it's Solo Washington gets it as well, but in the SEC, but in college basketball with similar size. Just another reason why Dalton Connect came to Tennessee. Got it. That he grew up in a highly competitive household, whether it was basketball or board games, card games at the family table. Yep. He's got back to back threes, and he's trying to shoot Tennessee back into this. And you have got to secure the rebound if you're Tennessee on this possession. If there's a miss, it is a must. And that got a piece of it, but Taylor finished. Well, we started the game talking about a massive opportunity for Texas AM. Watch oh out. Watch out. Bring it down. They are rowdy and Reed tonight. Press these Aggie guards because they're strong, physical, and Tennessee's in, you know, risky defense. I guess the question for AM is can they replicate this shooting performance? Another lob. A little less fancy, but it still counts. They go to Rocky Top. Saturday the 24th. I'm told that you're actually I, I scheduled will watch to work that one. That I will watch that one. <laughs> It's the dumbest chance in history of sports. Take credit 
for beating the yes. sixth ranked team in the country. Say we're better than you. Don't say, oh, of course we beat you. You're not any good. You're not any good. It makes no sense. And these are high IQ people. It's not easy to get into AM. I, I wanted to come to AM at one point, but I just I didn't like how they recruited me. By the way, Arizona coming off of a triple overtime win on the road at Utah Thursday. A lot of guys played a lot of minutes in elevation in Salt Lake. Now they got to do the same in Boulder tonight. Barnes says, call off the dogs, and we'll get you to Boulder in just eight seconds or so. 85-69 will be the final score. An impressive performance on both ends for Texas A&M. And a handshake between the coaches. Zaggies go to 15 and 8. They add a quad one win to their resume. And Tennessee will try to pick up the pieces next time out.